Now, this trick was told to me by somebody in the comments section. I think actually two people had mentioned this in the comments before. But essentially, this is what I would consider at least to be the ultimate experience gaining method in the game. And I know I probably said that for the last experience video, but this time it's it's actually true. This is the tried and true best method to do it. And it's because it actually doesn't really require any work at all. It allows you to maximize all of your skills without even leaving the uh, the experience menu here. So first off, you'll notice that I'm not like exactly at the beginning of the game. I am technically at the beginning of the game. I think I've only done Wasp Menace, but I used it to get into uh, Bowerstone North early and get the sword. A little bit irrelevant, but I just wanted to mention that you can actually do this at any point in the game, even before Wasp Menace. You just need, um, I think about 900 experience is like the minimum amount of experience you need to make this work. So I, I don't know if you actually get enough from the guild training when you leave. I don't remember if you get like 700 or 900 or how much you get from that. But, you know, you get a, you get a couple hundred extra experience after leaving the guild and you will have enough experience to maximize every single skill in the game. So anyways, let's hop into this real quick. Now you notice here I have like 3,000 experience, right? So what I'm gonna do first off is I'm gonna, I think slow time's the one, yeah. We'll buy slow time real quick, so um, just to kind of bring down the amount of experience I have. So you'll see here I have 1,000 experience to work with, 1,100, whatever you wanna call it. And what you wanna do is basically find the two cheapest things you can find. So you have, you have Fireball that's worth 500, Assassin Rush that's worth 400. What you wanna do is you wanna buy the cheapest one first, and I'll explain that here in a second. 400 plus 500, you need at least 900 experience to make this work. You buy the one for 400, and then you wanna find the next cheapest one, which will be Fireball, and you're gonna click that, but you're not gonna buy that one. You're gonna move over to the next one, and you're gonna buy Inflame instead. So go back to Fireball, click here, get in flame up at the top and then you hit the buy button and this is just like the trading exploit um, if you guys haven't seen my trading exploit video it's literally the same technique that you use where you just use like buy menu manipulation in order to like get money except for in this case we're doing it to get experience what you will notice is that when you do this with experience you will end up with a negative value of experience and that's where buying that first cheaper spell comes into play here because if we were to just undo the level up with inflame here what would happen is it would take us exactly back to where we were before. However, for some reason, if you buy something that brings you into the negative, and then you sell something worth less than the negative value, instead of just subtracting the amount of experience, so you remember we spent 400 experience on Assassin Rush, instead of it just adding 400 back, what it will do is it will automatically reset the negative number to zero, regardless of what its value is. Now, if what you sell is worth more experience than the negative value is, it will do exactly what happened when we sold um, the inflame spell, is it will just, it'll just actually do the difference, right? But if it's anything like less than value, so like it's negative 2,700, anything that's less than the 2,700 experience, if you were to sell it back, it would automatically reset it to zero. So we'll do that real quick. We will sell Assassin Rush level two. And remember, you have to do all of this without leaving this whole like, experience spending a menu or whatever because if you leave the menu it will remove your ability to sell anything that you purchased previously so you have to do all of this while you're within the menu without leaving it anyways though you will notice that we went back to zero but we do still have the inflame skill and we can still undo the level up on that but now that we have zero it'll actually give us the full value of this and now we have 3500 experience and if you remember correctly what did we buy first we bought slow time so we can even sell that again and get our initial 2000 back that I spent, which that was just an arbitrary expenditure. That was just to like show that this can be done with a small amount of experience. So anyways, you'll notice here that we have more experience than we started with, which is pretty neat. Now the, the spells are a pretty uh, convoluted list of things to be dealing with. So we're gonna move on to strength, just so I can show you guys a little bit more. It's a little bit neater. There's only like three things to work with here. So it's, it's not quite as messy looking, but you will notice that I already have four levels of physique, four levels of toughness, but the same rules apply here. The only thing to keep in mind is that you still need to buy at least one of the lowest things. So you'll always need a sacrificial buy because you need that thing to sell. And you can't go like between categories with this method. It'll go away if you go between categories. So it has to be within the same category. So you have to make sure you at least have one cheap thing within that category. So first things first, we buy health, then we click it and we go over to physique and then we can buy physique. And then we go back to health, we undo the level up, and that'll bring us back to zero. And then we undo the level up on physique. 
And look at that, now we have 9,000. And of course what we can do is we can buy some toughness, we'll buy the health again, and we'll go back to physique and we'll buy physique again. And so we'll just keep repeating these steps basically, reselling the health to get it back to zero, selling the, the physique again, get that back, 9,000 for that, pretty nice. Um, after a while, you're going to have to start getting a little bit more creative with what you buy. So you'll have to like, I don't know, maybe buy a couple levels of health or whatever. And then you could go back, buy the physique. And it's going to get like a little bit weird here and there. So again, you're going to have to get creative with what you spend. And remember, if you end up with like extra money, which is going to sound like kind of weird, like every once in a while, you'll end up with like an amount of money that you that you can't really continue with which we're kind of like, we're kind of like catching up to here a little bit. Like if we undo this level up and then it's like, okay, well we got 9,000 or 9,000 experience, not cool. Like we got 9,000, so we can't really buy that. I suppose we could buy more levels of health, but uh, you know, it starts to get a little bit weird. So what you can do is you can go over here and you can spend stuff over here too. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to hop sections, right? Cause this stuff, you can still sell this stuff back or you just can't like, transfer the, the glitch over to the other category. So here we are, health level two. Now we can highlight that, go back to the physique, buy the physique, sell the health level back, and we undo the level up here. And then what we can do is sell some of this stuff again. And now we have enough money to where I could go to toughness and buy an extra level of toughness buy some health and then we can go back here buy physique again do that again so again there's no like definite way to do this it's kind of just like it's like a puzzle really you just got to kind of figure out the puzzle a bit and once you have the puzzle figured out it's a little bit easier again you got to like use your imagination here a little bit just kind of buy whatever you can to spread that money out because the way it works is you only get the difference between this number here and however much this is worth so the the profit, the experiential profit that you get is going to be 9,000 minus whatever the, the the amount of experience you have here is. So in my case, 1250. So ideally, you want to have this number be as small as possible when you buy what you're not supposed to be able to buy so that you make the most amount of profit when you do actually sell it later. You know, because like this, this brings it down to negative 7,750. So um that would essentially be the profit we make is 7750. Technically minus the 400 or whatever that you spent on the lowest one, right? We can undo that level up. Got 9000. Oh, you know, I just realized I'm an idiot. I should have been doing it for toughness. So you got to like you got to kind of like pay attention when you're doing this cuz like as you can see here there's a much better thing that I could have been doing. I could have been getting 19000 for it. So again, you got to kind of like pay attention when you're doing this because um, you know, things get better technically, right? Anyways, it's all it's all trial and error. It's all like one big puzzle. So like really what matters is that you're making profit in the end. Sometimes you're going to be finding little situations like this where you could have been making more profit if you were paying more attention. But uh, regardless, it works out pretty well. So it's not a huge deal or anything, honestly. But anyway, so what we're going to do is we're just going to buy a couple more little things here just to sort of disperse some of that money. And then we'll go back here and instead we'll buy toughness because it's worth 19,000. So we'll get way more money for doing that. Go ahead and undo that level up and then we'll undo this level up and boom we got 19,000 and what we can do is we can go back here and we can undo some of these level ups we'll actually just buy that back because who cares right anyways we got that we got 38 there we got 24 there what we'll do is we'll do health and then we'll buy toughness and we'll sell health and we'll sell toughness then what we'll do is we'll buy a level of physique. Now that's 45,000. We'll buy the health and then we'll go back to physique. We'll buy the physique for 45,000, which again, like probably should be uh, like you might as well, honestly. We'll do that back to physique 45,000. And then we go back to the health. We'll undo the level up on that. We'll sell the physique. Means that we can actually buy this. Then we'll go health. Buy that. 
go back to physique and buy that undo the level up there and then what we could do to sell this well, actually hold up what we should should do is get our money back really and then what we do is buy a bunch of stuff and so this is where this is where buying the other spells and stuff uh oh game crashed fucking really dude so i guess you got to watch out for game crashes but to be completely honest i kind of showed you guys you know the gist of what happens there so like really really it's just it's just more of the same of what i was doing there but anyways though the important thing that i was trying to mention there is that once you start stacking up experience like that and you know you can spend it in any category or whatever right so that's gonna be how you're gonna be buying all of your spells here because what you will notice is that it, the the trick only works for whatever item is on top because if you were to like let's say i was doing this and i was gonna buy you know whatever um, it only works for whatever's on top here so you got inflame on top you got force push on top you got physical shield on top and then you've got magic power because if you were to try to click down to any of these the buy thing goes away so you can't actually use that exploit to get I mean, you can't use the exploit directly to get all of the mana stuff. But if you're doing the glitch here or whatever, right? Like you buy something and then you're like, okay, well, let's buy the next level of physique, right? And then you sell this back, undo level up, and then you sell physique back. All right, so now we have 9,000 experience. So we like, you know, I guess like tripled the amount of experience that we started with. And so what you would do is you would go back to your spells and you would use that experience to buy spells that you wouldn't be able to afford before. So you'd be like, okay, now we can actually do this shit. We can get that and that. You would spend it on more or less anything that you could spend it on, right? And then you would just go back to strength. You would buy the health again and you would do the whole physique thing again. And you would keep doing that to basically gain more free experience so you see there i got another nine thousand for free basically and you would come back and you'd buy more so on and so forth until you have everything maxed out this does actually mean that there will be one eventually that doesn't get um doesn't get maxed out so you are going to have to kind of make a decision and decide okay what skill between uh i guess theoretically these two i guess you could decide wow we're really going to crash again okay I guess you could decide that you want, um, like your magic skills, like one of your magic spells, possibly. I don't know how you do that. You'd probably have to like sell some of them back to get experience to use that experience on one of the other skills. But basically what I would do, I would either choose a skill that you know, you're not going to use or choose whichever one is the absolute cheapest because it's not going to get left at one. Like you're probably going to have enough experience to get like the last skill to like, I don't know level five or something like that, level four or five. So you either want it to be the cheapest one so that you can make sure that it will be the easiest and cheapest to maximize like through normal means, or you just want to make sure that it's a skill that you don't care whether or not it's maxed out. If you don't intend on doing anything like sneaky, really, you could choose Guile because it's not only is it cheap, but it's going to be useless for a lot of builds kind of like unless like you really, really, really want to make sure you're getting like the most amount of money through trading, or if you want to like, I don't know, be able to pickpocket or steal stuff or whatever for the most part you're probably not going to need guile unless you like actually need it right you could also choose health i don't know if it's actually the cheapest i think toughness might be cheaper but you could choose health just because you know you might be using physical shield or something and there's also those health potion things just kind of decide which one you want the least you know maybe you're you don't plan on using bows so you leave out accuracy whatever it may be you're gonna have to choose one that doesn't get maximized all the way and i recommend you either choose the one that is going to be the cheapest to maximize without the glitch or choose the one that you know you're not going to care about being maximized or that you know you're not going to use at all. Anyways, though, I guess that's it for this video because the game keeps crashing and I showed you guys pretty much all you guys need to know. I could sit there and actually maximize my skills in front of you, but that would honestly take probably close to an hour. Not going to lie, like we're already 30 minutes deep and we only got like halfway through that. So it's going to be the same technique all the way up until the end doesn't matter it's going to be the same technique you're just going to have to play with play around with it for a while anyway so that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like it definitely helps me out and if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to check out any more of this content or any of my other gaming content for that matter and of course as always for as little as 99 cents a month you can become a channel member help support this channel monetarily help me pay some bills around here that sort of thing yeah with that being said it's been plock the master gamer with some fable anniversary and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out